So in this video, I'm essentially just going to recreate this window. Now, I call this my practice window. Because if I go into code mode, I've hotkeyed this to one, this one to two. I get all the offensive stats for one team, and I get the defensive stats for the other team. And when I switch sides, I get the, you know, the reverse. I get the defensive stats for this team and the offensive stats for this team. And the reason I call it my practice window is because you're not going to capture stats for both sides if you're coding like a normal game because you're not really interested in the other team's like defensive rebounds and stuff like that. That's just a little bit too much to code, especially on an individual level, maybe on a team level, but not on an individual level. So I just use this game for like practices, for scrimmages, things like that between you know, like your own team versus other members of your own team. So let's recreate this window. Um, hopefully I remember where everything is. So file, new code window. Now I'm not going to like stop and explain everything because otherwise it might be too long. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be to begin with, but we'll find out. So I'm going to get my two code buttons. I'm going to call one home, one away. I'm going to go show identifiers off. I'm a snob when it comes to my uh, my fonts. I always want light Helvetica. I'm going to get rid of the stroke. I'm going to call this one. We'll do this. We'll pretend this is Purdue. So we'll go black, and we'll go gold, and we'll go black. You might hear my dog snoring in the background. I'm going to create, oh, wrong button, wrong hotkey. Create an exclusive link between these two. So these are my two team buttons. I'm also just going to give these a hotkey of one, hotkey of two. Now I'm going to create my player. It's also going to be a code button, except this time he's going to have a custom league lead and lag time. We're going to go five and five. Um, I forget if they had uh, strokes on the other one. We're just going to say no. We're going to go button color. No. Edit font. I'm not going to put the player names right now. I'm just going to go insert player. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit wider. I'm going to make this 120. I'm going to make these 120 as well. I forget what they were in the other window, but that's what they're going to be in this one. Make these a bit bigger. So we're going to line these. There we go. The reason I made this 120 is it's going to make it easier for me when I bring these labels down to like figure out how wide they've got to be. So this one's going to be 60. I'm going to make it the height of 22. Let's go no. These are going to be my shots. Oh, come back here. My shots. It's going to be called. What the heck is this? Why is it all over there? There we go. Made two. The group. I'm just going to call these. Um, I don't know what I called them in the last one. I'm just going to call them K player KPIs. So made two. Bring this across. It's going to be 61. It's going to be made three. Then this is going to be. This is, it doesn't matter what I call these right now because I'm about to change what these are called in the scripting. I can already tell this is going to look a little bit different to my other window, but the uh, theme is basically going to be the same. So I'm going to call this, go into the scripting and be like if button. 
home state equals one rename made two rename nothing copy that come here oh made three missed two and missed three so when I hopefully go code mode when I go home team it's going to be made two made three you know all my shot results when I'm in gold it's going to have nothing at all so next one I'm going to put down I'm going to put I just know I'm going to forget something as well which is going to be incredibly annoying this one's going to be rebounds so I want to go defensive rebound oh defensive rebound and I'm going to copy this and go away I want to call it a offensive rebound get rid of the second part here because that's going to be covered by this so if neither one of them down it's going to be called nothing but if the other away team is going to be down it's going to be called offensive rebound let's just make sure yep that's how it's worked when I go down here when I say this is foul we're going to call it a offensive foul and then this one's a defensive foul bring these ones down here as well I'm very picky with everything being aligned it makes me incredibly annoyed if everything's not aligned I'm actually going to steal this script here I'm going to move that up here I'm going to call this a turnover and if we're on defense we're going to call it a block bring this over here I'm going to call this a an assist and this one here steal so now on offense I'm going to get all my offensive stats defense I'm going to get my defensive stats next thing I need to do is I need to link these so I'm going to go activation links all around The other thing I'm going to do is exclusive link. So now I've got my one player box. What am I going to do? I want to copy and paste it down. Copy and paste this. Oh, oops. Down. And then one more. You don't have to you have a sports code elite for this window either, because we don't use toggle buttons. We're only using code buttons. See, all my buttons are a little bit too tall, so I'm gonna let's skip down the bottom. I'm not gonna fix that, but obviously, oh no! If I extend the window as long as possible, I can fit every label in. That's nice. So I've got all my offensive buttons here, so if in code mode, all my offensive stats, defensive stats, everything's linked, which is very nice. Now I've got to do the other side. Now the problem is, the only thing you really need to change is these home and away buttons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all of this, file, new code window, paste. First thing I'm going to do is change... Oh, I'm going to change this. So I'm going to go here. Change this to away. Find, replace all. Then I'm going to go into here. Change, get this. Put in there, put in there. And I'm going to go away. Find, replace all. And we go three, three. Find, replace all. I'm going to go may missed two and then missed three. 
And I've realized I've, what I've done here is I probably could have done this a quicker way. I'm just going to delete all of these. So now I've just got to basically go way home way home home away way take this Defensive stats, offensive stats, some of these need to be fixed. So looks like my, this one here is wrong. So for way, we want this to be home. We want this to be away. Does that mean this is right? That means these are wrong. Damn it. So I'm going to go... Let me copy these down. Away, home. Don't really know how I messed that up. Clearly just was not thinking at all. You might have been yelling at your screen saying that's the wrong way around and you would have been right. Now this should be correct. Offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. This one here is not working, it's saying it's missing something. It is, it's missing this quotation mark. There we go. Now I just have to copy this down. So I said I'm a real stickler for lining things up. It's going to be extremely annoying if it's not lined up to me. Okay, so I've got the basics of this window. I'm just going to line these up now. The last thing I'm going to add, just to be like obnoxiously, just to do it, I'm going to add like some lines in between that change color depending on what position you have on. So I'm going to put this no stroke color, that doesn't matter, no name, an active script if button home, home state equals one button color Make this width of two five hundred needs to be longer than that. Eight hundred too long. Seven hundred cool. Oh. Seven hundred that's better. And then copy paste right. To width 300. I'll leave it too long. Let's go to 60. So there's my window basically. Now I'm just going to add some basically some plays.
Uh, the reason I'll have these plays is basically if I see something in training that we're running and I want to like basically capture that play, I can. Or I could just rename these anything like man defense, zone defense, anything like that and basically just have a hotkey. But there, that's the window. Let's see how close that I got. We're basically there, so if I just go like one, two, basically the same, well, it is the exact same thing. Over here, same thing. So hopefully you learned something by just watching that video. I have no idea how long this video ended up, but that's how you basically made, make a, like a little easy basketball code window for your basketball scrimmages or practice or anything like that. If you want this window, just send me an uh, email. My email is in the description below. On that, hope you learned something and have a good day.